All right, Fun Nation, welcome back to another very special edition of Behind the Bumpers. Today, I'm, my name's E. Lockman, and I'm at Kettering 1, and today I've got both Team 70 and Team 494, Martians and War Martians, with completely identical robots. So today we've got Lillian to talk about their coral handler, and we've got RJ to talk about the algae handler, elevator, and very innovative donut climb. So you'll see all this and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu slash FIRST to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information. All right, Lillian, talk to us about this innovative coral handler you guys have, this passive coral handler. Yeah, of course. So, this is our coral handler. Um, it slides out during the match, and it does that by breaking a zip tie. So it's zip tied in and then breaks it as soon as we hit into Auton. So it's typically sliding out and it tilts. It tilts um, right up against the feeding station. So it just tilts and then comes right back. And then for loading it on, we have this. And we actually don't have wheels or anything. This is just entirely uh, based on really mechanics, not really uh, any programming things. So this just pulls right out uh, on the pole. So that's how our coral handler works. Yeah. That's really cool. Now, RJ, talk to us about the algae handler on the other side of the elevator. Our algae handler is driven by two 7075 motors on each end, uh, tied to a belt to the wheels. Uh, we can pick up off the ground, off the reef, off the floor, as I said before. And it's been very, uh, very good at picking up and placing in the processor and in the barge a couple times. All right, awesome. Now, th this is really cool. Can we see a little demonstration of it? Sure, we'd love to. Right now, we're going to lower the uh, uh, algae handler down, and then we're going to intake. And you can see it has a very good grip on the ball. It's not coming out. We have guards to keep it in place. And these, uh, these arms on the thing are spring-loaded to lock the ball in place. That's awesome. Now, obviously, obviously with some pretty heavy machinery on this elevator, talk to us about how the elevator is able to pull all this weight. The elevator is driven by a Falcon 500 motor down in the bottom of our robot. And we also have some surgical tubing to spring-load the uh, elevator so it comes up easier and takes the load off the motor. Uh, we have a two-stage elevator, so we have one stage, and then on the back we have another stage which handles our algae and our coral handlers. That's awesome. Are we able to see a little demo of that too? Yeah, put the elevator up to uh, L4. Actually, just it out a bit. So that's our L4 preset for scoring on the reef with the algae or with the coral. My bad. It's been very consistent. I don't think we've missed one on L4. And then we have L3 as well. We have one for L2. And we do not have a current way to score on level one, but we will be prototyping and working on that. Awesome. Now what I think is probably the coolest feature of this robot is the donut climber on the front of the robot. So talk to us about this. This thing is really awesome. So this is probably my favorite part of the robot. It's very unique. I haven't seen any other climbers like it. We have four latches, two on the top and two on the bottom, to uh, lock the cage into place. And then we have a winch system to drag the uh, cage, the, hand, the cage handler down. So we lift up off the ground. That's really cool. Now I see we have a cage here. Can we see a little demo? Sure, I'd love to. Awesome. So, I got it. So uh, during the end game process, we will uh, steady the cage on our bumpers and then drive in and lock in place. And then when we are when I, we have the go to go up, we'll lower it down. Now, what exactly went to the design process of this climber? So we went through a couple different designs, uh, and then we finally landed on this one. It was very consistent. It held the cage very good, and we've had 
little to no issues with it, this uh, event. That's awesome. And in general, what made you decide on this type of robot with the double-sided elevator? Uh, nothing really. We didn't want to have two mechanisms on the same side to confuse our drivers and operators. It made it easy so that one side was dedicated for one process and the other one was uh, for the other one. Awesome. All right, folks, this has been another outstanding edition of Behind the Bumpers with two identical robots from Team 70 and 494. You can catch these guys here today at Kettering 1 and then hopefully at MSC later on in the season. And we will catch you guys in the next episode of Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information.